Understanding the Visual C++ 2008 IDE. In this lesson, we will walk through the IDE of Visual Studio 2008. So let's begin with the elements of the IDE, that is, Integrated Development Environment. Let me start from opening up the application. To do that, go to the Start menu and choose Programs, Microsoft Visual Studio 2008, and then click on Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. When you open for the first time, it will take a few minutes to load the Visual Studio 2008 start page. When it starts, the start page shows you some screen components, depending on your version of Visual Studio. Here, we're looking for Visual Studio Professional Edition. Your start page contains a list of links to get resources in the Visual Studio 2008 IDE and on the Internet. I hope you're familiar with basic screen components such as the title bar, menu bar, toolbar, etc. So I'm not going to concentrate on those areas. Let's see some of the new components which you have not crossed before. This is the page that presents some of the latest news links for professionals and developers. If you come across this page, you can see some useful windows. Here you can see the project names which you've worked on recently. Also, you can open an existing project which does not appear in the recent project list, and you can create a new project by clicking this link. Later on, we'll see how to create a new project. In this space, you can see several links, including tutorials provided by Microsoft. This space provides you some of the latest Visual Studio 2008 headlines. If you look at the left and right side windows, you can see the tabs which are auto-hidden. When you hover the mouse on these tabs, they appear immediately without any information inside them because we haven't created any projects so far. Now I'll give you a short description of the Solution Explorer. It provides access to all of the files in a solution. When you open Visual Studio the first time, the solution is empty as there are no files to display. Once you open a solution, Solution Explorer displays the content of the solution and its projects, or when you create a new project, its contents are displayed. Here's the Class View window, which is used to display a hierarchical view of classes, functions, properties, and methods, and other code constructs contained in your project. Also, the class view shows you the logical view of the project, whereas the Solution Explorer shows the physical view of your project. And this is called the Property window. It enables you to modify the different settings for your project. If you turn to the right side, you can there see the Server Explorer view. Use this view to open data connections and to log on to servers and explore their databases and system services. In the Visual Studio Express products, this window is named Database Explorer. And finally, we'll look at the Toolbox window. This contains controls that help us to make a Windows application. Now I hope I've covered all the screen components of Visual Studio 2008.